Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, we'll be talking about this circular test track. So I've drawn a circle here, and they want us to find for part A the distance in kilometers that the car travels. They say that the car starts at the easternmost point of the ring and drives 15 minutes for this speed. So let's write really quickly a little compass here. So we have north, south, east, and west. So they say he starts right here at the easternmost point and then it drives around the track, doesn't really matter which way it goes. And they say that they drive for 100 kilometers per hour for 15 minutes. So they tell us that the circumference of the track is 12.5 kilometers. The formula for circumference, of course, C is equal to two pi times the radius. And they tell us that the velocity that they drove was obviously 100 kilometers per hour. So for part A, we'll use the velocity formula, which is equal to change in distance over change in time. And so if we isolate the change in distance, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by T. So change in distance or change in X, which is the same thing, is equal to velocity times change in time, as we just said. Now, before we plug in our numbers into this, we need to um, convert our time because they say that the delta T is 15 minutes. But what we're looking for is hours. So that is 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour, so 0 0.25 hours. So now we can plug this in. So delta X is equal to the velocity, which is 100 kilometers per hour. And we'll multiply that by the time, which is 0 0.25 hours. So now the hours are going to cancel and we'll be left with kilometers and 100 times a quarter is a quarter of 100 or 25 kilometers. And that is for part A. So now for part B, they want us to find the displacement in kilometers from the initial position. So displacement, of course, is the difference in a straight line from where you started to where you ended up. To do that, though, we need to figure out where the car ended up. We know it started out right here at the easternmost point. So we know that the car went 25 kilometers. To figure out how far that is, we have to compare it to the circumference. The circumference is 12.5 kilometers, so the car went 25 kilometers, and the circumference, or the distance around the track, is 12.5 kilometers. So the kilometers cancel, and we're left with two. So the car actually only went around the track twice. It went here, and then it stopped, at the exact same place. So we don't even need to do any math for this other than just this part that we already did because the car started and stopped at the exact same spot. So the displacement is actually zero kilometers. And now for part C, they want us to find the speed of the car in meters per second. So they tell us it was going 100 kilometers per hour. So kilometers per hour. So I'm going to start off with the distance aspect to it. So we know we want the kilometers to cancel, so it'll be down here. We want to put that in meters per second. In one kilometer, there's a thousand meters. So now kilometers cancel, we have meters. So now we'll do the hours. We want hours up here, so it'll cancel. And we want that in seconds. So in one hour, there are 3,600 seconds. So now the hours were canceled and we're left with meters on the top, seconds on the bottom, which is the units that we need. So now we can plug this into our calculator. We have 100 kilometers multiplied by 1,000 to put us into meters and then divide that by 3,600 to put us into meters per second. Then we have a speed of 27.78, so we'll round that up to 28 meters per second, which is the speed of the car.